Hey everyone, Lens Windows here, and welcome to another episode of Factorio. Uh, what I've been doing here is, ooh, tungsten's full. Um, I've been trying to convert the the base to being predominantly logistics based. I've been moving things around and and trying to start decentralizing, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but I'm just finding bits and pieces as I go around. I'm going to turn that into a, a provider. Um, finding things that are, are backing up. And um, a lot of our ores and, and well, our materials, apart from iron, of course, because iron's always lacking, um, a lot of them are starting to require second silos and uh, I've got I think it's tin over here no it's zinc I believe I've had to put a, another silo in its in its line I think it's down here I've had to put a silo for the zinc because we're just not we're not using it it's it's not um, being used enough which says to me that we're not producing enough you know products that require us to do it now obviously as I said iron is something that is always a little bit lacking um, and I have re-enabled the well whichever processing it was in here stereotype sapphire I, I think it's stereotype I've re-enabled this line uh, sapphire sorry uh, which also does titanium um, so this is wasteful but I think I needed the, the the iron more than anything else now this is all backed up because uh, what do you know the geodes are full what can we do with these geodes it's something I haven't really investigated yet um, so let's say what are the usage of these okay we can combine them with sulfuric acid turn them into a slurry or we can crush them up and turn them into stone and crystal dust. Um, uses for crystal dust through an assembling machine and we might get some, we will get a ruby ore and then a chance of one of these other gems. So I don't know what the gems are used for. What, what are, okay, so they're apparently going to some of the modules. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad to, to crush them and, and, and send them on their way. Uh, another thing we could potentially do, as I said before, was this crystal slurry stuff. So that requires... Oh, it's got 14 uses. I'm barreling it. That's not a use. Uh, we could run it through a filtration unit and get crystal seedlings which need catalysts, but can turn into obviously all of the different. Oh, okay. So the seedlings can turn into the catalyst as well. And then you just use the catalyst in a, in a crystallizer and we get, we get the ores. I mean, we could sit there and set that up and just have it you know, have one one machine, one crystallizer for each ore. Ruby, emerald, amethyst, diamond, sapphire, topaz. Maybe that's a thing. But to do that, we need to get these out of here and we need to get them crushing or converting into the liquid. So, not so bad. A lot of these, a lot of these areas already have sulfuric acid in them. It's a bit low down here at the moment. I'm not sure why that is. Oh, that'll be because this system uh, doesn't have the same setup like we do in the other buildings. But I do need to get this out of here. So let's 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 start working on maybe doing something with these crystals. So what I'm going to need I'm going to need liquefiers. I probably have a few liquefiers. And I'm just going to use robots to get them wherever I need them. So I'm just going to come down here a bit. Do I have... We've got a regular liquefier. Do we have... Are they in here? 
No. I could just start typing. That would probably be the smarter move, right? They're in here. I've got, I've got level 4 liquefiers. Okay, so wherever we put this, which is probably better to put it up near the top of the top of the map, I can make seven regular ones and one level four. Can I make a level four? Um, Alright, so I'm going to go to the top of the map, and then we will, because a lot of my processing is at the top, I will need to work out a way of moving those items on. But if I can start this up, in this region up here where all our one we've got sulfuric acid and two all our processings here uh, this one this building here I have now set up if I can go inside to do our jivalite processing so it's apparently lacking in hydrofluoric acid because I'm out of fluorite awesome because I'm out of ore. Oh, that's alright, it'll it'll come back when the train comes back down, I guess. Uh, it's currently waiting on our, uh, our crotinium to come out. So things are processing well, but again, I'm going to have all these geodes that uh, require help. Let's see, let's just do this basically. Um, one liquefier. And I want to convert crystal star. Okay, so we're going to need one for each. Or we put it all in with, turn it all into dust and take, nah, no, that's, that's, that's too much. Uh, okay, let's just, you know, what, I'm not going to do this here then. And for giggles, I'm going to make five regular ones. We've got our sulfuric. Maybe this is an alright spot. Come on, build please. Uh, I have gone at the end of the bu uh, the bus. I have put um, our provider chests on every line, and you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen there at the moment. It's a little bit hard to see, but we've got a lot of materials available to the system. We've got nine point six thousand gold because I accidentally didn't put a limit on the chest at the end. <laughs> uh, we got I don't know all sorts of bits and pieces. But generally, I should be able to request most things. Um, but it may be smart for me to also start looking at setting up some of these machines to be able to be um, used. So we've got blue, cyan, light green, purple, Red, yellow. So red, I just need one more. Just one more. Okay, so obviously we then need to get each of these things in. So let's do a requester. If I do a requester, of course, realizing that we now need to put this in here so it might be better to do that like so and then I'm going to put we're going to do this if I can use a 
So this is blue and cyan. Say I want blue cyan. And then we just like that. And then same down here. And when we put our last last one of these guys on. Give him what he needs. We can do the same deal. We can like that. Here comes all the uh, all the bots delivering stuff that obviously at some point I have purged out of my inventory, and it's now um, in the system somewhere. So this is light green and purple. Light green. Purple, and this is red and yellow, red, yellow, and this can be request from buffer chests as well. That so needs some power, and that should be. Oh, we haven't got any cyan here yet. That should be creating what we need. Um, and then all we, we will need to do is... I'm going to need to finagle this a little to get it out and around, but we'll need to bring our pipes out. So maybe I'll just do this now. Like that. And then this one can just... Move them. That was a derp on my part. I'm going to put them Yep Fun Like this and we'll bring our material out somewhere, perhaps to, to a barreling pump, and we can transport it via um, via logistics machine, little robot. Uh, we've got a barreling pump, and we have a small tank. I have been researching some of the bigger tanks. We've got we've got a few here. This one, you know. What? I don't want anything massive. Let's just, let's just put one of these in and then the oldie barreling pump. And then we'll have to work out what is this crystal. Crystal. Oh, so crystal seedlings also a a liquid. How did we make this seedling stuff? Okay, I've got to go back over here and oh, we need to filter it. So that's that's fine. We need to set up. Oh, we've got coal filters down the bottom. But yeah, okay. I'll I'll pump this somewhere else. So let's redo our barreling pump. And again, that's not the seedling, it's it's crystal. That one. So obviously we're going to need a provider and a requester. We're going to request drum, where's barrel? Empty barrels. All right, just need a little bit of power. Done. So once that gets them, it should provide them back there. Cool. So all we need to do now is hook up our our geodes, our all this stuff from these from these areas, 
and put them into uh, providers. So in the case of these guys here, I can't use a provider inside, which would be fantastic if I could put like a, a, a robo port down and have it work. But I think, I know there's a, a thing about chests and, and using them that way, but I'm gonna take a mini loader straight out of here and just bring it out the door. So, again, not not an amazing setup, but provider, and I'm actually gonna let it fill. I'm not that worried about it. So here we go, look, these bots are going, hey, I've got something to do. Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Come the rest of them. So again, I'll, I'll go through and do all of this and then we'll be getting our bits and pieces here. I probably need to make a few more drums. The barrels, I mean, sorry. I keep getting that wrong. I can make two barrels. Well, at least put two barrels in, in here. It's already, it's already done it. Whoop, whoop. Straight in, straight out. So I'm going to need some more steel and, and to make the barrels up. But just another use. So hopefully sulfuric acid will continue on. I do have another path. I've brought started bringing sulfur out of this one um, because we were out of sulfur coming from this system. Uh, we don't have a lot of sulfuric wastewater because I process a lot of that in here now. It's generally processed here and then we pull our sulfur out. So, where are our yellow geodes coming from? That must be uh, something from uh, somewhere else because we've got red in this one. Ah, this was me playing around uh, getting the red from somewhere else and I brought it in here. So that's, that's cool, we can we can reverse this and bring the red out. Downside, we do have some crystal dust in here, which I'm going to need to process at somehow. Uh, we've got enough room. Provider. Ooh, we're in an area that does not have a robot port. Oh, come on. How, how close to that power pole is it? Right. We're going to have red here. And their little bots will probably cruise off on their mission. Oh, he's coming to try and give me a provider chest. Because I've set that up as well. So we have yellow geodes in this one. Let me just do the same deal here. And then I'll show you where I've set up the the chests that I've got created. So that's cool. The yellow will continue on. We're now going to head down the, the far right-hand end of the base. Uh, these guys will be doing their thing. And this will fill up fairly quickly, I guess. But that's fine. All is well. Uh, one one thing I do need to touch on before I run down the other end of the base. This system here, this hydrofluoric that I've got coming in here, we just bring in sulfuric acid and then use the fluorite that um, that we're pulling from here. That's just just enough to sort of service this area. I, I did originally need to send it up to the top, and then I found that those those mining robotic mining setups kind of bypass the need for acid um, you want to give me stuff cool thank you I do appreciate it all right let's run on down I still I still do want to clean this up and, and almost get rid of the bus I know that sounds a little silly but we do have some stuff that 
we don't have enough of. So plastic. Plastic, what is wrong with you? Liquid plastic. I'm going to need to investigate liquid plastic. I'm, we're probably running low on one of our chemicals or one of the tanks is full or something like that. Now, I did attempt to hook up these things automatically loading uh, bots into the system. And Triax suggested I use the the wiring. So the, let's see here, red wire, green wire, etc. So this is used to set conditions. So if I click on, I've got wire and I've, I've clicked on here and onto the inserter. Now, the inserter, for some reason, is not set up correctly. And I'm sure I set him up right. Um, go in there, please. Uh, so, if you look here, I've just left clicked on the on the inserter. On the side here, we have a new box. Once you put the the wire on, and it enables me to enable and disable. So, turn this entity on only when the condition is true. So, the condition that I want is that there are I'm looking at logistics bots, and that there is 200 available. So we'll only add logistic bots to here when we have 200 available. Now, for that to work, and if you look, I hover over here, you can see down in the bottom right corner, um, currently have 570 logistics bots out of 686 available. So if that number was to ever drop down to only 200 available, which would mean we've got lots running around doing things, um, this will add bots in. And the same for the, the construction ones here. I've got that set to, to 100. Uh, to make sure it, it gets the signal properly, you've got to click on the robo port and you need to tell it um, which which bit of data to output. So it's the that you want to measure on available, not on total. Um, pretty sure reads content reads count of robots in the logistic network of this robo port. So it's so what we're doing here is we're not reading how many how many items are available so how many um, bots are in chests for example we're reading how many are available actually moving around not placed in a chest like this so I don't know if that makes sense it seems to be working for me at the moment and I don't I don't I mean I guess I could go okay what do we got we've got 570 so if I say this, this must be 600. It should work. All of a sudden it's working and it's going up and it's hit 600 and it's now stopped. So 600 is obviously a huge number. So I'm going to put it back to 200. But um, that will auto create the bots. Um, and if for some reason something gets destroyed or, or whatever, it will. Um, we're good. We've, we've got all our self-crafting and self-inserting into the network um, and then up here I set up a little system to create the requester and provider the passive providers not active providers so I think I've done that research now but um, these are the two I'm using at this point so it's it's very simple um, it needed steel chests so I've just made a um, uh, assembly machine creating steel chests and it places them back in here and it has wire on it as well so it will only do them when there's less than 10 chests available in here so we'll have 10 it stops um, another that's that's the way of preventing overfilling a chest so I've probably got to go around and and I can clean this up a little by using those wires so I mean you saw when I was doing this that I was having issues with what was going in there and and I ended up having a, a secondary chest so the, the wire is the way of limiting that factor and allowing multiple items into a chest. Uh, let's see here. So this is pretty basic. It provides passive. This provides the requesters. When it gets the items in there, it'll create them. When, uh, when there is less than 50 in the chest, it will put them in. Simple. Straightforward. We've got all the items we would need. Although that one's not, uh, it's full, so it's not going to put any more items. But yeah, anytime I use one, 
the robots will replenish. And I'd like to get to that point where it pretty much replenishes almost everything that I require. Uh, and as I said, I did go along and put all of these chests at the end of the line here. Move the power poles out so we can spread it out nice and evenly. But everything here, except for the gold where I had um, stuffed up, everything here is just set to two stacks. So we do have a few missing items on the thing here. Uh, so there's this one, plastic. And plastic is a thing. Let's check the plastic out. We'll follow our line here. This is plastic. And we have looked at this before, I'm pretty sure. Heading back along here. So maybe it's time to... Actually, speaking of that, there is another plastic here. So let's do that research. Uh, plastic here. So plastic requires propane. Okay. Our propane tank is empty. Propane comes from methanol steam. Ah. This is the problem. Our residual gas is full. So if that's the case, what can we do with residual gas? We can combine... Oh, let's just go back to page one. We can put it in barrels. Yep. Um, we can add it to the process when we're doing the oil refining to get more out, I guess. So maybe that's a thing. Maybe we can just... Well, maybe we already are. Because our residual gas is going... Maybe we already are. It's coming down here. We all the way down the bottom. No, we, we're using it to create lubricant. And obviously our lub oh, lubricant's not full. Oh, we don't have any base mineral oil. Okay, so let's... In here... So we could convert this process to adding in some residual gas. Okay, so what do we got? 60, 30, 10. This is 20, 30, 50. To me, that is a no-brainer. Let's go and... Where are you with residual gas? That one, please. No, we just lost the oil that was in there, but that's okay. Yeah, that's why. So I just need to reroute that. And then let's bring our residual gas down. So come out. Here, how did I know? Always the way, isn't it? That'll loop. There we go. Okay, so that's now going to use some of our residual gas and give us a better output, a better amount. Although, it's not going to go far because these things are full. Um, okay, so base mineral oil is empty. Uh, naphtha is empty, but the fuel oil is full. So, once again, we're at... Oh, plastic 2 is finished. So what did that give us? It gave us naphtha and polyethylene gas. What do we make polyethylene gas with? Um, there's lots of... There still are so many um, things here to, to research. So let's see. What can we use fuel oil for? Fuel oil, is that... No, that's vegetable oil. Fuel oil. Usage. Apparently, fuel oil, lubricant, and water makes hydraulic pressure fluid in a liquid fuel engine. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, a diesel era coins? No. Uh, fuel oil into liquid fuel. Okay, it's a processing thing we could do. 
uh, into solid fuel with coke into fuel diesel unit apparently that can be used to run our trains into synthesis gas and residual gas turn it into unicomp fuel canisters flame bullet okay so maybe we see what liquid fuel can be used for enriched fuel block we could run stuff on this pollution of 70 percent um vehicle acceleration 150 uh so yeah i mean there's lots lots to be able to do here i mean i could just put another tank on this for now it, it's an interesting one let's see if we can make another tank what do i need steel and stone bricks story of my life Uh, just make another one of them. We just research steam power so we can do Mark IV boilers, which require ceramic pipes. So I have, have um, research ceramic. I don't know how to do it yet, and we're going to need tungsten plates. Just some basic. Uh, I did set up silver processing. Where did I squeeze that in? There. <laughs> Again, you know, it's just sort of crammed in the corner, but this is our silver. So silver ore coming in, into ingots, into plates, and then back into the provider. So this is just a requester asking for coal and silver ore, because this requires coal to run. Done. Ready to go back out. So whatever needs silver, it can get it from the bots. All right, uh, can I fit this tank in here? Yep. Wow, look at that. Drawing out of there, filling into here. This should start up again. Start using our residual gas at a fairly decent rate. I mean, we got 349,000. Maybe I should use these pressure tanks. These, this only holds 125. This holds 300. 50. There's a thing. Could have uh, reduced it down to one block. Alright. Okay, so I've rambled on enough. Just checking my time out there and we are over. But uh, hopefully this will start producing propane again and we'll start getting plastic again. So yeah, you can see here. Uh, it's either that or I just start voiding this residual gas I mean and that's a thing too right we may as well use it for something but if it's not it's not working I can just put a flare stack on I don't think I've got one at the moment flare no flare stack valve I have an overflow valve I could just go honestly overflow valve And flare stack. Oh, helps if I actually connect the power to something. So yeah, we can we can just vent now. I mean, we're using it for stuff, but I need the propane. And hopefully that produces rubber again or plastic, I should say. We are up and running. Awesome. So thank you all for watching. Please leave those comments in the section down below. Um, this is pretty pretty backwards and stuff, but eh, it'll it'll get there. And we'll need to need to get some more um, some more barrels in the system. And then I need to set up the thing to create. Oh, so it is getting delivered. Whoa! Oh, you know what? No, so we're going to run out of barrels if I do if I don't limit this. So all the barrels from the system are probably in here now. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie. Um, let's just make another 20. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.